We've talked about recursive hierarchies, we've talked about explicit hierarchies, and we've talked about the intrinsic hierarchy that's intrinsic to every XML file. Now let's talk about yet another kind of hierarchy, and that's the referential hierarchy. It's referential because it uses references to create the hierarchy. So let's take a look at the schema that you see on the page here, and you'll see that it looks a lot like the other schemas that we've talked about. It's, we're still, we still have sections, those sections still have IDs and titles and bodies. Um, and, but the, the difference between this one is one extra attribute, and that's the parent section ref ID attribute. And notice the data types. The ID obviously is an ID data type, and the parent section ref ID is a ref ID data type. This is creating a link between one section and another section. Every section, or actually not every section because there's a top level section, every section that's under the root section, that's under the top level section, will have a parent section ref ID that points, it, that points to its parent. So this is like a chain, this is like a link. This is like being in a big room full of people and your whole family is in, is in that room. Actually, it's only the girls of your family. The girls and their mothers and their daughters are all in the room. And every, every girl has a tag that says, or actually two tags. One says, my name is Jane, and the other tag says, my mother is Josephine. And so you look around and you, you grab Jane by the hand, you bring her over to Josephine, you say, okay, Josephine, you stand right here by, um, by Jane, stand behind her because you're her mother. Then you look at Josephine and you see her tag says over here, her ID tag says, my name is Josephine, and her ID ref tag says, my mother's name is uh, Jill. So you go searching around for Jill and you pull Jill over and you say, okay, Jill, stand behind Josephine. You've lined all of those women up by their parentage, by the fact that you know not only who they are, but who their parent is, who their mother is. And so that's you, so you can organize all the people in the room just by knowing who they are and who their mother is. Those two tags, an ID tag and an ID ref tag. My mother is Jill is the ID ref tag. My name is Josephine is the ID tag. So in a similar way, you can organize, you can organize um, items, in this case sections, into a hierarchy by having each section have its own unique ID and having each section that has a parent um, name its parent. And so you'll, you'll see at some later point how we actually make that happen, how we, make the, um, how we organize the hierarchy and create that spatial relationship, that indentation that every, that every hierarchy has. That's the visual representation of the parentage. Um, you'll see how we create that at some other time. Right now, I just want you to understand that you can create a hierarchy using this very simple technique. Name your parent. That's what the technique is. Okay, if we look at the instance for, um, uh, for this referential any hierarchy, and by the way, it's any, why? Because the parent section ref ID, the thing that's doing the organizing, is actually part of the content. If you took away that parent section ref ID, you would be doing damage, you'd be hurting in some way the content itself. The access structure is not outside the content, the access structure is inside the content, so it's any. Okay, so if we take a look at the, at the instance for this referential any hierarchy, you'll see that we just have a laundry list. A non-hierarchical, there's no embedding of one section inside another, we just have section, 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 section. Those sections don't have to be in the instance in any particular order. The order is established by the parent ref ID tag. So you'll see that the first one, I put them in order so that you know they're easy to see, and if you do this, you'll tend to put them in order as well, just so that you know that you have everything covered. But not necessarily. Sometimes your sections will be, or your items will be in alphabetical order in the instance, so you can find them. There's a helicopter going by, so we'll just wait for that helicopter to pass. So they don't have to be in any order in the instance. You put them in whatever order you want. The ordering, the hierarchical ordering of them comes completely from the fact that they have one tag that says this is my mother and another tag that says this is who I am. Okay, so you'll see that they're the same sections as, we, as we've been working with. The, um, the book itself is info structure. And notice the info structure has no parent. Why does it have no parent? Because it's the root, it's the top level, it's the book. And so the book doesn't have a parent. Although if we wanted the book to have a parent, we could put another section in here and all of a sudden the book would be a child of someone else. Very easy to change the linkage here just by changing some of those ref IDs. Okay, so the idea of the reference itself is that the reference is a pointer. The reference is an indicator. That's why they're called referential hierarchies because the hierarchy is created by pointers from one to another. And anytime we see reference like the word ID ref, 
That's the same conference, that's the same concept of reference. A reference is a pointer, a reference is an indicator, a reference is some copy of the original, and in our case it's always going to be the original ID, because the ID is the handle that we can always have on the identity of an item. Uh, in the schema, you give each item an ID, and you give it also the, an optional parent ref ID, and then you fill in that parent ref ID in the schema for all of the different items that have parents. So now we have buses and we have trains going by, we had uh, helicopters, next we need a steamship to come and blow its whistle. All right, so this is an any hierarchy as I mentioned because the references are inside the hierarchy. And in the instance, the items are not nested.